good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today I'm going to be doing Scorpio's mid-month October check-in. Uh, if you're looking for a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. Just a quick announcement. I'm running a sale from now to the end of the month. It's going to be $60 for live readings, $35 for half-hour live readings, all right, where you get to ask as many questions as you want. As of November 1st, my prices are going to be changing, so I'm trying to give my subscribers uh, a special to the end of the month, okay? So, like I said, this reading is for Libra, I mean Scorpio, sorry, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watcher if you're dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Um, I, as always, prayed, shuffled, and meditated on the decks. Uh, I didn't get any messages uh, for you guys. Um, if you've ever watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. We're going to get right into it. Spirit, can you show me what's going on with my Scorpio gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. For their highest good. Most important messages, Spirit. For Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ever so grateful and humble for the gifts and the blessings. Please use me as your vessel, Spirit. Please allow those important messages to come through for my Scorpio gang. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages that they need to know right now. Please allow those benevolent spirits um, and ancestors. Please take us into the white light of protection spirit while we get these uh, messages. Ever so grateful, Spirit. Thank you so much. At the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. This is the overall energy. Okay, so the first, I took out nine cards, okay? The first row is going to be for like what happened earlier in the month and what's happening now. And then the next two rows will be the balance of the month, okay? So the first row, you have the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Uh, we're going to get right in and clarify. Spirit, why is this Five of Swords here for my Scorpio game? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. So the Five of Swords is somebody trying to win at all costs, okay? Backbiting, fighting, deception, right? And then you have the Ten of Swords here, okay? Some type of betrayal. So uh, this person... They were trying to win at all costs. I feel like they used some manipulation tactics. You felt betrayed by this, okay? Spirit, why is this page of swords here? Why is this page of swords here? Okay. So the page of swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You could be dealing with a page of swords. I mean, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But um, when you see the page of swords, you know that there's a lack of communication, Right, that um, you could be blocking this person actually physically or mentally or emotionally, right? Then you have here uh, the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This could be you or this could be the person you're dealing with, right? Um, because the King of Cups um, doesn't like to wear his emotions out on his sleeve. So I feel like this is you right now. You're not divulging how you feel about something. Not completely anyway. You're very standoffish right now. I feel like this person is watching you. And here is um, the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, so um, you could be feeling uh, feisty, sassy, confident, or your partner is, right? Now, the Queen of Wands, uh, she's confident. She she knows how to love on herself, right? Um, she's looking good, smelling good, feeling good. So, you could be dealing with a King of Cups and you're feeling confident right now. Or you're the King of Cups, not showing your emotion, and this person uh, is feeling confident, okay? Spirit, why is this Page of Pentacles here? For my Scorpio gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, so this Page of Pentacles is an offer, a message of an offer. Like, can we uh, talk? Can we get, get together? Let's go eat. Let's have a cup of coffee. Or this could be larger, right? But it's something tangible that you can feel, right? 
and I feel like uh, they're making this offer because they are uh, feeling anxious, depression, sleepless nights because there's a lack of communication, right? I feel like uh, you're the seven of pentacles here. You are um, looking at the situation and you're assessing if the seeds that you planted with this person, if they really came to fruition. I think they know that you're doing this and it scares the shit out of them. Now, here's the fool, spirit. Why is this fool here for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now, spirit, for their highest good. So, um, the fool is Aries, okay? This is taking a risk, jumping off in a new direction, uh, taking a leap of faith. Um, I feel like uh, you are doing this right now with this eight of pentacles. You are, uh, you could be entering into a new career. You could be um, just concentrating on your work and taking a risk and not looking at this situation, right? And then here is the uh, king of swords. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I'm feeling very uh, strongly that you have stepped into the King of Swords energy and um, making head over heart decisions, right? Because this king likes fact and logic. So uh, I feel like you feel like the logical thing to do is to switch lanes, right? Stop worrying about what was going on and you've uh, changed your focus, I feel like um, with this fool card, what you're really saying is I'm going to let the divine handle it and I'm going to um, step out on faith and, you know, I'm just going to go ahead about my business and what happens will happen. Spirit, what's this four of wands for? For Scorpio, sun, moon, rising and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now. Spirit for the highest good. So the four of wands is that happy home card, Okay. This, I also feel like this is a personal fulfillment, right? And then the Hierophant. Faith and love. Right? Hope. This is also a spiritual person. This is also uh, someone who is in an organization. It could be a union. It could be a teacher. It could be a cop. It could be military, right? But this is also a husband card. So you could be married to this person. Spirit. Let me get one more. Four of Wands with the Hower Font. Why? For Scorpio. Why? One more. So the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So I feel like there's some changes going on in this situation. Cycles coming to an end and new cycles beginning. This is Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, and Leo. So um, the way I'm reading this is if you were um, if you were not married to this person, okay, um, what they're saying basically is they want to enter into a new chapter that would be more committed. If you were married to this person, then it could be that, um, you know, the situation is getting rocky right now and you guys are trying to either... Decide whether you'll stay together or um, like either you're going to break up or you're going to close the cycle of the burdens and, you know, the betrayal and try to start anew. Right. For some of you, if you are dealing with someone who's married, they're trying to get out of that situation. Spirit, why is this nine of pentacles here for my Scorpio gang? Sun, moon, rising and Venus. Most important messages. They need to know right now, spirit. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is my looking good, smelling good, feeling good card. This is a very single energy. This is the minor account of the Empress, okay? So she usually is a business owner, all right? Um, she is um, financially um, independent. She usually has somebody in her heart, um, but she's not crying at home for them. She is waiting at the bank, right? And then uh, the page of swords is clarifying that. So 
Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like the, the communication is still off. I feel like this person could be trying to learn more about you. Look how they're looking at this book. All right, they're investigating how to come into you. Also, I feel like you still have them blocked, okay? And they are spying on you. Eight of Swords, okay? I feel like this could be you. You could be feeling stuck and bound by this whole situation. And then you have the Seven of Wands in reverse. You are no longer um, feeling defensive or standing your ground. And that goes back to that Fool card. You're like, listen, it's going to be what it's going to be. And I'm trying to free myself from feeling stuck. So I feel like that's what's happening. Now we're going to go into this last row. Okay, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Spirit, why is this Ten of Pentacles here? For my Scorpio gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages. They need to know right now, Spirit. So the Ten of Pentacles is um, the community card, the happy family card, generational wealth and legacy, right? And I feel like by the end of the month, this person is telling you they want to celebrate with you. This is the Three of Cups, right? That you managed to get out of this uh, betrayal, close out the cycle of anger, it looks like at the end, you're not really all the way there, but I feel like you are trying. And then here's the four of wands again. Happy life, happy wife, right? Happy family, right? Now, uh, the seven of cups spirit. Why is this seven of cups here for my Scorpio gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. But it feels like, because tens are also endings, it feels like uh, there's still, even though you guys are like trying to mend it, there's still too many options, right? Then you have the Ten of Pentacles again. And I feel like this time, this actually could be denoting that situation coming to an end because there's too many options. And then you have the Three of Swords, Heartbreak. right? I feel like this person, there's something that they're not seeing with this seven of cups. It could be something about the way they behave. Uh, it could be the choices that they make, but, um, it's putting strain on that 10 of pentacles. And it just feels like it's heartbreaking spirit. Why is this six of pentacles here? Okay, so uh, the Six of Pentacles is talking about um, giving to two situations, okay? Um, needing to bring in balance. I feel like this person wasn't um, being fair with you in the past, but they want to do that now. Then here's the Sun card. This is the card of Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this is the illumination of that, that now they're trying to... Um, they're trying to be more fair with you as well. The sun card could be speaking of ego. I feel like they're going to tell you, I, I understand I wasn't fair in the past. I made those decisions out of my ego, but I really want the victory with you. Six of wands. Okay, now we're going to move to this three of wands spirit. Why is this three of wands here as the overall energy spirit? Why? Why is the three of wands here? Right, so waiting for the ships to come in or um, waiting for something, right? I feel like they're waiting on you to tell them that this is going to work out, all right? Or you're waiting on them to tell you, right? But I feel like they're waiting on you, right? And then you have the chariot. This is the card of cancer. This is them not being able to wait anymore. They're jumping on the chariot and they're coming into you. Okay? And then um, here's judgment. This is you, Scorpio. 
Okay, final decision, legal decision, asking for karmic justice or reconciliation. I feel like this person is rushing into you because they can't wait anymore. They're asking you, please, um, can we start over? And then the magician, this is Aries energy. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting another chance. Okay, um, let's get a soul's journey. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to be working on this month, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to be working on this month? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> what does Scorpio need to be working on this month? Okay. So the first is health. I honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So you had the Ten of Swords, okay? And um, you had the Nine of Swords here. So in, in your moments of feeling um, betrayed and, you know, having a lot of anxiety and depression with all of this, try to make sure you're taking care of yourself, okay, that you're eating, that you're not overly indulging in alcohol or anything like that. Because it's going to take a toll on your body. And then gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So now spirit is talking about you not letting this whole situation get in your head and losing your zest for life over, um, you know, a situation that is whether or not it's heartbreaking or not, whether it's for, you know, a week, a month or forever, right? not allowing this person to um change the way you look your whole outlook on life right because um you never make decisions on temporary feelings right spirit what does scorpio's person need to work on spirit what does scorpio's person need to work on They need to work on empathy, right? I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. This person has trouble relating to how you feel about things. And then grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I told you this person was uh, behaving out of ego. That's the fact that they can't be empathetic to you. And I also told you that... Um, you kind of pulling back from them is making them suffer and that has to do with that grief okay so um let's take um manifest your soulmate card see what will give you the best um the best opportunity to manifest in this situation spirit can you show me what would help scorpio manifest the best outcome they can for the ba balance of october spirit what would help scorpio Look, what did I just say? Never make um, permanent decisions on temporary feelings. I just said that, okay? So, um, yes, that was just confirmation from spirit that I was getting the right message. Now we're going to move into um, the love and romance. Spirit, can you show me what Scorpio feels for their person, spirit? What does Scorpio feel for their person? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So um, you might be feeling at this moment like there's not enough passion to sustain this relationship. You got the unrequited love card, okay? And then um, the letting go of control, okay? So like I said, you're, you're letting go of the outcome with that fool card and that seven of wands in reverse. And true love, you do have true love for this person. Okay, so it's just that you're exhausted. Spirit, what does Scorpio's partner feel for them? What does Scorpio's partner feel for them? What does Scorpio's partner feel for them, Spirit? So they're trying to keep it playful with you. They are going to try to make the effort because they feel that you're their soulmate. And they feel you could be the one, okay? So I feel like uh, they 
they know how they feel about you. I feel like the things that they did was done out of ego. Spirit, what actions will Scorpio be taking towards their person? What actions will Scorpio be taking towards their person? So you feel like heart-to-heart -heart conversations is necessary. You feel like healing family issues is also necessary. This could be something that um, the two of you have to do together. Like, let's say if you're married and you got kids. Or this could mean that um, they have some lingering issues from their own childhood. And um, that's affecting you guys' relationship. But there's a lot of attraction here. Okay? Spirit, what actions will Scorpio's partner be taking towards them? What actions will Scorpio's partner be taking towards them, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Again, they feel like you're their true love. Okay? And they want to express it with this Express Your Love card. And they have the Honeymoon card, meaning they want to go away. Okay? They think it would help get, get on the right page. And this could be the one. And make the effort. And soulmate. And give this relationship a chance. So they really, um, they love you. Spirit, what is the outcome to this situation for the balance of October? What's the outcome for this situation for the balance of October, Spirit? What's the um, the outcome for this situation for the balance of October? Well, Spirit said you're not going anywhere because of the coronavirus. Look, it's in reverse, okay? So no honeymoons right now, no uh, staycations. But they do feel uh, this could be the one came out again, okay? Express your love and soulmate. So um, that looks good to me, okay? It just looks like there's no vacation on the horizon soon. All right, I'm going to get some advice from Spirit. We're going to close this out. Spirit, can we get some advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Most important messages um, they need to know right now. Wish is fulfilled, okay? So I feel like your relationship is going to be um, coming together in uh, a good way by the end of the month. Uh, I feel like uh, the next week might be a little rocky, okay? But by the end of the month, it, it looks pretty good, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming to spend a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.